Brian Sussman and Melanie Morgan, only on Hot Talk 560 KSFO. 737, 23 minutes in front of 8, so if you've got to be somewhere by 8, you've got exactly 23 minutes to get there. And uh, Mel, I guess we put this under the category, uh, things are the same, only different. Because as a recovering member of Congress, I can recall uh, having my opponents show up to videotape my town halls. And so we started to respond by putting one camera in to do nothing but to be a live recording constantly of everything I said so that nothing could be pulled out of context. And then we would put another camera on uh, the camera operator for the opposition just just to have it there saying, here it is, back at you. Yeah. Now, now, of course, with the rise of social media and the fact you can use your cell phone as a camera, recorder, whatever, a lot of things are changing. And uh, we are so pleased to welcome uh, on to our program this morning, Ricky Gill. Ricky is a young man. I mean that in a great way. Uh, happens to be 25 years of age. He's constitutionally eligible to run for Congress. That's what the Constitution says. Be 25 years of age, and he is a Republican running in the 9th District. Ricky Gill, good morning, and welcome to KSFO. Good morning, J.D. Good to be on with you, and good morning, Melanie. Good morning, Ricky. Boy, you had some interesting campaign trail uh, problems, haven't you? Sure. Well, you know, it's it's interesting, and J.D. was alluding to it. Um, Some might call it par for the course, but, you know, they say politics should stop at the water's edge, and uh, we've got some... George Soros, the line trackers who follow me sometimes around my house. And, you know, J.D., it's um, it's something that I think is a little bit invasive, and um, and it's something we have to deal with now. Yeah, now, now the group we're talking about here, uh, American Bridge is its name. Uh, George Soros funds it, and uh, they've been sending trackers in different areas to follow Republicans. In fact, I can remember a couple of years ago, in Arizona, in the seat I used to hold, actually, one of these kids who would show up at things, one of the candidates, uh, a, a lady running, actually had the kid come in. She posed for pictures with the guy. He was absolutely brazen in terms of following around. Yeah, well, I'm here, and uh, this is what I do. I follow you around. So she actually invited her stalker into an event. Have you had any interaction with these people, or are they just doing this kind of sick, almost like peeping Tom stuff around your house? Well, you know, J.D., I, I've had no interactions, but I want to just cue and uh, kind of key into one word you just mentioned, which was brazenness. So the Daily Caller, which is a D.C. publication, uh uh, essentially released a video showing them driving by my house. I was finishing up my law degree from uh, from Bolt Hall at Berkeley. They were following me around there. And so anyhow, this became a national story last week. And uh, on the topic of brazenness, they've posted some more videos, not just driving by my house, but driving by my family members' homes, including my mother and father, which I find to be you know, a, a real breach of ethics here. Um, I'm the one who's putting my name on the ballot. They aren't. Has your uh, opponent responded to this? Because I think this is just absolutely stunningly outrageous. No, I don't, you know, they've kind of washed their hands of it, Melanie, in typical fashion and try to create some distance. But, uh, you know, it, at the end of the day, these are two peas of, of the same pod, really. And um, I'm, I'm confident that there is knowledge that this is happening by Jerry McNerney. Well, of course, McNerney's crowd says for the record, nope, not going on. Uh, His spokesman is Lauren Smith, quote, nothing to do with the campaign. Mm -hmm. That was the response she sent by. Well, you know, it's uh, y'all have to speak Clintonese. Nothing to do with the campaign. Yeah, which but means not yet. A surrogate is doing it instead, which could very well be George Soros. We, we know, Melanie, that um, previously Jerry McNerney on his Federal Election Commission files has put trackers. Um, as, I think as early as 2008, he's been funding this, maybe not uh, in this particular instance. But, you know, you know, on that side, there's a wink and a nod, and that's all it takes for someone to follow you to your home or uh, invade your privacy. And at the end of the day, I, I will tell you, J.D., if this is uh, the price that one has to pay to represent a community you care about, So be it. You know, we've had this congressman who has bought into the Nancy Pelosi agenda, who's fought for government control instead of individual opportunity. And now kind of the final straw is he's carpetbagging 60 miles into the Central Valley to run against me. Um, This is the if this is the latest indignity, uh, so be it. I think we'll prevail in November. We've got the truth on our side. 
Well, let, let me just give you a, a little piece of advice as it occurs to me in this here and now. I know we like to get out among people, but but I'm going to tell you, you're going to need someone at your side always because what they've done is they've turned this into a 24-7 town hall, um, um, you know, just, just opening up the shades window, stalking you, and, and you're going to have to have somebody there uh, for prote- really protection of your repu- reputation in terms of documenting actually what it is you're doing. Sure, absolutely. And, and you know, what I can tell you is uh, we're very vigilant, uh, but we're focused on the issues, too. You know, this is a race that is going to be – it's not going to be about George Soros and his money. It is going to be about – um, whether or not this country wants to return to its constitutional origins, whether or not we want to contain this debt crisis, which is crippling the next generation. We're talking about jobs and bringing back this, you know, re- essentially curtailing the regulatory state that we all know is hurting job creation. If we talk about entrepreneurship in the economy, we win. If we allow them to indulge in these digressions, J.D., it's going to be tough. And so uh, all I can pledge to you and your listeners is that uh, our campaign is going to be waged on the issues and uh, this is minor interference compared to the big issues of the day. And, uh, and Melanie, I think we'll prevail. Well, I hope so, Ricky, because you come from an outstanding, upright family in the San Joaquin Valley. We know that you have worked very hard and the people of your district would be very lucky to have you as a representative. Well, I appreciate you saying that. You know, they're attacking my family, and they say all sorts of grotesque things about us. And, you know, I think when they attack us, they're attacking people in this district and saying, you know, no, the best you can do is really a congressman from Pleasanton. You folks aren't good enough to represent yourself. You know, when they attack my family, I construe it as an attack of um, – Uh, on patriotic Americans who happen to be immigrants who came to this country to work, not to receive a handout per se, but to make their dream happen. And um, we're going to win this race because there's a strong claim for local representation. Melanie, I'm from the San Joaquin Valley. Jerry McNerney's not. And uh, and that's a very compelling notion. And um, and so far, you know, things are going very well here. I was just named one of the National Republican Congressional Committee young gun candidates, uh, only 12 in America. And Um, I think the parties tip their hat to the importance of this seat. Well, Ricky, we really appreciate your time, and uh, uh, just watch out for those stalkers, pal. We we appreciate it. Thanks very much. Ricky Gill, candidate for Congress in California's 9th District. It is 16 minutes in front of 8. Hot Talk 560 KSFO.